So I've, I've disconnected this from this breakup. <laughs> come in and they've anchored pretty close to us. I say hello. I'm Adriana and this is Jim. We met in a band, got married, had a family, got into boating and when our children moved to London we sold everything to move on to Kikamalu, our home. A 42 foot Swanson with our Spoodle Lucy. This is our salty life. Subscribe and welcome aboard. Last time Jim changed our grey water pump, did some maintenance on the depth sounder, we left port for beautiful Fame Cove and made our way to Shoal Bay where we had a great time. While in Shoal Bay we had a visit from friends Jen and Huge and their brand new baby Hunter. Lucy was super excited to see Hunter. She could barely contain herself. She loves babies. I guess she thinks she's a baby too. I wonder where she gets that idea. Jen was an integral part of our business in North Sydney. She worked for us for 15 years and in that time, she and Huge have become part of our family. We love you guys. Your legends. Yes, we're a mess again. Jimmy, what you doing? I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to route the cables to the four peak from oh, the back. Okay. So we're doing this because we moved the fridge from the starboard cabin to the yeah. four peak. Look, there's two outlets. There's a 240 yeah. volt outlet, which it's currently running off, and also a 12 volt outlet. The only issue is because I want the voltage level to be always as high as it can be and, and the fridge can draw up to five or six amps, I, um, I don't want to use the existing cigarette lighter style outlet and I want to put in a heavier gauge wire that'll have less voltage loss going all the way to the four peak. It's probably about an eight metre run from here from the batteries it's probably 12 meters so i'm going to just make sure i've got a nice heavy cable feeding it and i'm going to connect it to an anderson style plug like we did before so i've, I've disconnected this from this breaker this breaker used to be the breaker for the uh, freezer compressor that ran off the genset which mm -hmm. we've since removed yeah uh, now so that gives me a breaker with a positive power supply, so half my problem solved. <laughs> so I can use that. I don't have to drill any more holes, put any more switches in. And I've just got to get the power now to the four peaks. So I've been looking at all the options and I think I've found my entry point. So I'm going to just get this going through here. I've got the wires coming here. So I've got to connect here mm -hmm. and uh, the positive. Yep. And then the negative, I've got to connect to a negative bus Possibly behind here somewhere. Doc! Oh, Doc! Help me Doc! Quiet! Quiet! Uh, I feel so good today! Been lucky! Uh. Woo! What a lovely day! Woke up on a vibe, y'all! Got a brand new thing! Yes, yeah, I'll go my way! My shoes got soap! Got a strut in my walk now! Got a pocket full of sun! Don't say it won't go! Jim's taking the wire through into the bathroom in here and into this cupboard. Now he has to make a hole in there, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He make a hole in there. Yeah. In order for it to come out here in the four peak where the fridge is. Yesterday I got burned. Today I'm so tan. I was late 
to work Woo. On the day my boss slept in I turned over a draft Till this morning I got paid The devil can't stop me I woke up feeling sad I'm a roller on the table in the game It's the all time unbeatable hey. No, Heavyweight in the ring It's the creed It's the all time unbeatable man hey. So the way to get these Anderson plugs in You have to get the right orientation The lug has to be Retaining part of the lug has to be facing up and uh, you basically got to put it in, get a uh, screwdriver on the back of it, and bang it in. That's it. Okay. Done. So the two logs now are uh, correctly mated. It's just a matter of uh, pushing it in and getting that click. There you go. Much better than that. <laughs> yeah. Um, a lot of the complaints associated with um, these portable fridges are really related to the power supply. These cigarette lighter style outlets yep. are okay, but they're not really reliable enough to have a fridge running that's a critical appliance. So the next step is really just sealing it with some amalgamating tape. You can get um, bushes for the back of these plugs that um, reduce the opening size for smaller cables, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to seal it with amalgamating tape. The correct term for it is really self-amalgamating tape. It's basically, it's like a sealant that's made into a tape oh. and as it's stretched and wound upon itself, it kind of sticks to itself and becomes a watertight seal, really. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's my lucky day. done now just about to close it up I was able to bring the lead in and connect it to this bus bar this negative bus bar there was one space left in a very difficult position to get to that one in there but I managed to get it and to get it up underneath and so that completes the circuit the negative Fantastic. and it's working so Yay. thank God Hooray. two days of work yeah to put a uh, 12 volt power supply to the four peak. <laughs> Two days. That's boats. That's boats. <laughs> We said goodbye to Jen and Huge and Little Hunter and set off for Winda Whopper Beach on the north side of the bay. lazy sail today, not much wind. Uh, 0.65 of a meter is going to go down to 0.37, so we're going to drop about one more foot yep. or 300 mil. We've got three meters now, so we're going to be down to about 2.7 meters. Our draft is 1.8, so we've got about you know yeah. a bit under a meter. But you're going to take into account the mooring apparatus, so you don't want to be bumping on the mooring, so yeah. it should we'll be see okay. How we go.
beach isn't named after Jimmy, but after James Levi, a ship's runaway who lived on the beach for years and became an iconic figure. It is known for its white sands and crystal clear water. And as it's close to the mouth of the bay, it forms the perfect breeding ground for white pointers. There have been one or two shark attacks in the last three years, and we were careful to keep Lucy out of the water. I lost my job, I walked away From the life that I was leading with my friends Check that goes behind the beach. That's how we can go for a walk into the hawk's nest. Yeah. Window Whopper Beach is an extension of Jimmy's Beach and runs for about one and a half kilometers. But it faces south and the winter westerly winds and their swells are the cause of a lot of sand erosion. So there's been so much erosion from the storms that uh, they're uh, piping the sand. There's a dredge all the way down there about a mile off. So this is a uh, inline pump for the sand slurry that they're pumping from the dredge all the way over there up to here and then further down the beach to where you can just see the backhoe where they're distributing it and replacing the sand that's been eroded. Four. This is the mouth of the Mile River, or I should say one of the mouths of the Mile River. It's very shallow, and that's another reason they've been dredging here.
a southerly was coming and we decided to look for a quiet anchorage. Little did we know that this night would be quite exciting. What's going on, Jimmy? I think they're looking to anchor somewhere. Crazy. And they don't anchor much further forward. And they might be, yeah, they're anchoring there. Which is right in front of us, which is not great. Oh, no. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that boat, but it's anchored very close to us, really. And I don't know if they've let out enough chain. Jim, they're very close. We've had a boat pretty late night trying to anchor in this bay because there's been a blow. And they've anchored pretty close to us. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting the anchor out of the way of the mooring. Just pulling it to the side. So it doesn't chafe the rope. Yeah. They've repositioned uh, a bit further downwind, so they're now uh, relatively um, a beam of us. It's not likely to shift to the west, which would then uh, have them swing around onto us. So it should be okay. Hopefully. But I'll, I'll put some fenders out on the side of the boat anyway, just in case. As long as they dig their anchor in well, I'll be happy. They're the closest one there, so yes, that's them. Yes, Right? Yeah. So that's them, so now we can put a waypoint. They're three boat lengths away. Yeah. Time for a cup of tea again, I think. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, hit the like button, share and comment below. We love to read your comments. Oblivious to the excitement, aren't you Lucy? <laughs> Go back to sleep, Baba. Until next time, stay well, stay safe and keep that tail wagging.